Hello everyone. Today let us continue with the remaining questions of exercise 1.2 from NCRT book 6th grade. These are the four questions we are going to deal with in this video. Let's go to first ninth question. See the ninth question. To stitch a shirt, 2 meter 15 centimeters cloth is needed. Out of 40 meter cloth, how many shirts can be stitched and how much cloth will remain? This is the question given. And hint is also given to convert the data into centimeters. It is given in meters and centimeters and the total available cloth 40 meters. So you need to change totally into centimeters and then find out how many shirts can be stitched with this total cloth. So the total cloth available is 40 meters and to stitch each shirt the cloth required is 2 meter 15 centimeters. So how many shirts are needed? What you want to do? Actually 40 meter cloth in this 40 meters cloth how many 2 meter 15 centimeters can be taken out? How many 2 meter 15 centimeters makes 40 meters? Is there any cloth left? That means you need to divide and how much is the reminder that gives you the cloth left. Okay, let us start with the first statement total available cloth. Total cloth available is equal to 40 meters. This 40 meters is same as if you know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So, this 40 meters is same as 40 times 100 which is 4 after 3 zeros. That means 4000 centimeters cloth is available. 4000 centimeters. Next, cloth required for each shirt. Let us write cloth required for are needed you can also write required for one shirt which is equal to 2 meter 15 centimeters this also you can change into total into centimeters this part is already in centimeters this one you need to change into centimeter and then add to this 15 centimeter so you know 1 meter is 100 centimeters so 2 meters means 2 times 100 which is 200 centimeters so, this 200 centimeters plus 15 centimeters. The total cloth needed for each shirt is 215 centimeters cloth. Now, we want how many shirts can be stitched. So, write down number of shirts can be stitched is equal to with 4,000 4, 4, centimeters is equal to 4000 divided by 215. So you need to divide these two things and check whatever the reminder comes and what is the quotient. The quotient gives you the number of shirts and the reminder gives you the cloth left. So let's do the division here 215 with 4000. Okay, 215 ones are first we'll write 215 and if you subtract you will get 185 and drop this 0 and next 215 8s is 1720 which gives you the reminder 130 so 130 centimeters of cloth is left and 18 shirts can be stitched so your answer is 18 shirts can be stitched and you will write the last step cloth left after stitching 18 shirts the cloth left which is not able to stitch one shirt one shirt also which is 130 centimeter that is nothing but 1 meter 30 centimeters cloth this much cloth is left and 18 shirts is the answer how many shirts means right we'll go to the next question question number 10 the 10th question is medicine is packed in boxes each weighing 4 kg 500 grams each box weight is 4 kg 500 grams how many such boxes means how many 4 kg 500 grams can be loaded in this van which cannot carry beyond 800 kg the van cannot carry more than 800 kg so you need to pack how many boxes how many 4 kg 500 grams can make 800 kg so this is the maximum limit which a van can carry so we need to divide how many 4 kg 500 grams are there in this 800 kg means it's a division so let us write the first step 
total weight that a van can carry. which is equal to 800 kg. Now you need to change this into grams. You know 1 kg is 1000 grams. So 800 into 1000 which is 8 after 5 zeros. 8 lakhs grams. Okay. Next. Weight of each box. Weight of each box. Each medicine box or each box. Which is 4 kg. 500 grams. This also we can change into grams. This is already in grams. This part will change into grams and we'll add to this 500 kg. So 500 grams. So which is equal to 4 kg means 4000 grams plus 500 grams, which gives you 4500 grams. So total weight that a van can carry is 8 lakh grams and a weight of each box is 4500 grams. So how many 4500s are there in this 8 lakh? That is the question. So, we let us divide. Now, number of boxes that can be loaded. Number of boxes that can be loaded in the van. Which is equal to 8 lakh divided by 4500. Let us do the division. 4500 divided with 8 lakh. Now let us write this 4500 ones are first write ones are. I'll write a quotient here on the top ones are 4500 subtract 0, 0, 5, 7 minus 4, 3, 3500. Drop down one more zero. So 35,000 you have here. Now let us take 4500 sevens are. 7s are is nothing but 31500. Zero, zero. Next, subtract again 0, 0, 5. Again, 5 that means 4 minus 1, 3. Again, you have 3500. And if you drop down one more 0, 3, again 35000. So again, take 7s are. 7s are again 31500, zero, zero, which gives you a reminder 0. 0, 5 and this is 4 minus 1 which is 3. 3500 is the remaining reminder. So our quotient is 177 that means 177 boxes can be loaded and weight left the medicine weights left. Left over without packed. So, which is 3500 grams, which is nothing but 3 kg 500 grams of medicine is left still. Okay, these are the number of boxes you can load into the van and this is the weight of the medicines which are left over still. We will go to the next question now. now Let us go to the 11th question. The distance between the school and a student's house is 1 kilometer 875 meters. Every day she walks both ways. Find the total distance covered by her in 6 days. So this is the question. So the distance between the school and the student house one way. One way is 1 kilometer 875 meters. If she goes both ways, going and coming back. So how much distance she travels every day and how much travel, how much distance she will travel in 6 days. That is the question. What you are going to do? So the distance between one way between school and student house and she walks in both ways so she, you have to double it double it means you need to multiply by two so that gives you the distance traveled by her in one day then multiply with the six days because she travels in a total six days so let us start with distance between school and house, I will write house, student house actually and house which is equal to 1 kilometer 875 meters. Distance traveled in both ways means going and coming. Distance she traveled or walks both ways 
which is equal to 1 kilometer 875 meters you need to multiply by 2 okay that is nothing but we can multiply like a 1 kilo you can change into meters totally and multiply or you can directly also multiply like this so 2 5s are 10 2 7s are 14 plus 115 2 8s are 16 plus 117 750 meters 2 1s are 2 plus 13 3 meters 3 kilometers so the answer is 3 kilometers 750 meters this is the distance only she walks in both ways in one day that means in one day how much she walks now the distance she covered in six days right on the last step total distance covered in six days which is equal to that answer how much she traveled in one day multiplied by six which gives you let us multiply this I'll write here 3 kilometer 750 meters multiply with 6. 6 zeros are 0, 6 fives are 30, 6 ones are 42 plus 3, 45. This is 500 meters and 6 threes are 18 plus 4, 22 kilometers. So totally in our 6 days in a week that means 22 kilometers, 500 meters she walks. Right? We'll go to the next question now. The next question is 12th question, the last question in this exercise. A vessel has 4 liters and 500 ml of curd. This total curd in the vessel is 4 liters, 500 ml curd, means 4 and a half liters. Into how many glasses each of 25 ml capacity can it be filled? So each glass, each glass capacity is 25 milliliters, and this is the total curd total amount of curd 4 liters 500 milliliters so how many glasses means how many 25 ml can be taken out from this total vessel from this total 4 liter 500 ml how many 25 milliliters can be taken out this is also again a division so let's start with the steps total curd in the vessel which is 4 liters 500 ml which can be turned into totally into milliliters you know 1 liter is 1000 milliliter so 4 liter means 4000 so 4000 milliliter plus 500 milliliter which gives you totally 4500 milliliters of curd is there in this how many 25 milliliters can be taken out how many glasses means each glass is 25 milliliters so capacity of each glass capacity of each glass which is 25 milliliters so number of glasses number of glasses of curd can be filled which is equal to 4500 divided by 25. So let's do the division here. 4500 divided by 25. Let's write the quotient here. 25 table, 25 ones are 25, which is 0, 2, drop is 0, 200. You know 25 eights are is. 200 you need to know 25 table right next 0 here nothing is there to left and we have one more 0 to drop so 25 zeros are 0 so finally you have 180 is the quotient that means these are the number of glasses so 180 glasses 180 glasses of curd can be filled and 0 is reminder that means no curd is left exactly you can take out 180 glasses of curd with this total curd 180 glasses you can fill so reminder is 0 that's it